Good morning, everybody. This is Alexandre of Angel Cartomancy, and today I am going to help you start your very first Lenormand reading. At first sight, Lenormand can seem to be overwhelming with all the rules, with all the school, with all the tradition. But don't worry, today I'm here to help you with all that. Now that you've learned from my videos the meanings of the Lenormand as well as the card combination, now it's time for you to start your first reading. So I'm going to share with you now four simple steps that will help you create your routine to read Le Normand. This is very, very important, creating your own routine. Step number one, your question. Phrasing your question is very, 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 very important. As the cards actually reply to the point, to the question you ask them. Remember, clear question equals clear answer. So this is why I, you know, for beginners, I encourage them to write their question on a piece of paper or you can uh, actually uh, create a special journal where you can keep all your readings, your question, your according to interpretation, all of your Lenormand experience. Step number two is shuffling the cards. So the way you shuffle the cards is not important. You can uh, shuffle them, you know, in the Bombay style, you can riffle them, you can mix them like dominoes, a flat on the table. This doesn't matter. What matters is what you do when you are shuffling your cards. The cards are very sensitive and they have the ability to absorb the thoughts, the energy, the question of the person shuffling them. So while you're shuffling, focus on your question. See your question clearly in your head. The more clear your question is, the more clear the cards will answer you. Step number three, lay down your cards. Okay, so if you're a beginner, a free card reading is enough for you to start with. Okay, don't be, you know, too greedy and jump in the nine card spread or in the grand tableau as these techniques need a little bit more of practice and of skill to be able to use them properly. Step number four, interpreting the cards. Look at the Le Norman deck as a storybook. Each page is a card and each page tells a story. And as you shuffle through the page, as you run through the page, the story becomes more and more clearer till you arrive to the happy ending. So card number one will be influencing card number two. Card number two will modify card number three. And card number three will be the summary, the result or the happy ending of your reading. Also look for any key card in your reading. For instance, fox is work, bouquet is gift, stork is pregnancy. Let's take an example for a better understanding. Mary wants to know if John and her will be able to make this trip to California. So the question is phrased clearly. We shuffle the cards keeping the question of Mary in our head. And then we pull three cards that will tell us the story of her question. The three cards that comes up are the writer, the letter, and the ship. The three cards keyword combined together with an extra attention to the context will give Mary will be receiving news of her traveling. The key card for travel is the ship. So definitely this validates that she will be traveling with John to California. Now it's your turn to start your very first free card spread reading of the Lenormo. I would really like to hear your point of view, your comments about this video and also about your experience with the Lenormo card. Please subscribe for more videos and also you can actually join me on Facebook where there is like-minded people, Lunar enthusiasts from around the world who join there and see you next time. Hi YouTube, if you want to watch more of Lunar videos, please hit the subscription button for more.
and I will create more amazing videos for you guys.